It's a celebration of all things Austrian. It's Spaznacht in Kettering, and Rhonda Moore tells us there will be plenty of festivities and good food tonight. Good morning. Spaznacht has been going on for more than 30 years now, and one reason people keep coming back, of course, is for the food. And joining me now is Courtney Rathweg, and tell me about what will be served at Spaznacht. Every year we have three different types of meats that we serve. We serve uh, bratwurst, metwurst, and Khan's hot dogs. People are very particular about their hot dogs, so we make sure that we have the best. And also we have German potato salad and cold, or sauerkraut. All right, so tell me about the potato salad because it's different than what American potato salad is. Yes, American potato salad is primarily has mayonnaise, celery, sometimes relish in it, where German potato salad is mostly vinegar based and also has bacon in it. And uh, we know that Daytonians love bacon, so mm -hmm. we have lots of bacon in our German potato salad. We go through approximately 400 pounds of German potato salad every year, 350 pounds of sauerkraut, and we do approximately 2,500 pieces or units of the hot dogs, metwurst, and brats. You also have dessert and pretzels, right? We have pretzels, yes, and we have an awesome baked goods section. Usually when we do the... Um, the it does look awesome. She uh, said potato salad and bacon. <laughs> yeah, that, those two things right there. Spaznock Festival. Check it out tonight. Time to pull out your lederhosen and get ready for a fun night tonight. <laughs> the Spaznock Fest Festival is tonight. Rhonda Moore is in Kettering, where it takes place. Good morning. Well, the men wear the lederhosen. I think I pronounced that right. And the women wear this. Now, this is Emily Webb, and she is with Spaznock. All right, yes. so what is this called? That This I is have? a um, lady's dirndl. Okay. And? And you need your apron on. Okay. So... So put that on for me. So you must wear an apron with it? Yes, I need to get one for mine. You see them um, mostly in touristy kind of areas. Okay, so let me go ahead and do a little spin here so you can see my outfit. All right, so talk to me a little bit about the festival itself and the reason behind it. Well, the reason behind it is we're celebrating one of our two sister cities. Um, we also have a sister city of Kettering, England, but Steyr, Austria is what we're celebrating tonight. And um, part of the proceeds go to benefit our student exchange program. You guys send students over to Austria? Yes, we have nine students leaving the end of the month. And then you guys have been doing this for a number of years, so I guess there's yes. been a lot of students that have actually been over there, right? Yes, there has. I actually hosted a student when I was in high school at Fairmont. Okay, so students come from there here and then mm -hmm. also from here go over there. Yes, it's very important. It's a great way to get the kids excited about international travel and um, just getting to know an, another country and our sister city better. And so for people who just want to come out here and have fun, why should they come out? Oh gosh, it's a wonderful evening, lots of great food, um, music, and we'll have some strudel and um, pretzels and beer, of course. All right, of course, it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're interested in coming out to Spasnock, it is tonight beginning at 530 here at Lincoln Park Commons in Kettering. And we'll be back at 850 and we're going to learn how to do, or at least I'm going to learn how to do one of the dances they'll be doing here tonight. Back to you guys. Enjoy polka music, live entertainment, and a lot more at an annual festival. It's called Spaznock and anyone can go. Rhonda Moore is at Lincoln Park where the fun starts at 5.30 tonight. Good morning. I'm trying to learn a new dance here. I think it's called the chicken dance. Is that right, guys? Yeah. Okay, and this is one of the things that you'll see people doing here at Spaznock tonight. Okay, this is Andrew Rathwick. All right, kind of explain. Okay, Andrew. Okay, kind of explain this dance a little bit. Well, this is a traditional uh, German and Austrian dance. Uh, you see it a lot at Oktoberfest. You'll see it out here tonight at Spasnacht. It's an easy dance. It's a lot of fun. Anybody can learn it. Okay, and so this is just one of the dances that people will be doing tonight. They'll be doing a lot of other stuff and having other entertainment as well. What are some of the other dances they're doing? Uh, well, you'll see a lot of polkas. You might see a waltz. Uh, Austria is the home of the waltz. So we're going to have a band in from Cincinnati tonight called Prost. A lot of people will be dressed like this in traditional dress out here Correct. tonight dancing as well. You'll, you'll see quite a few dirndls, a lot of lederhosen. Um, 
you'll see just people out having a good time on a beautiful evening. What other things will be going on out here? Well, we're going to have some wonderful Austrian food. We're going to have brats and mets, hot dogs. We're bringing in fresh pretzels for the night. Kettering Hospital is actually donating some strudel and Austrian cookies. Uh, we've got a bunch of other volunteers bringing in baked goods, so it's going to be a fantastic time. We're going to have a balloon twister for the kids, so it's really fun for the whole family. And I know this uh, festival has been going on for more than 30 years, so obviously people really love it. It is, and it's grown and grown, and actually this year we're taking over the entire Civic Commons area here. We've expanded the footprint, so there's going to be plenty of room, and we're going to have lots of fun. All right, sounds good. Well, Spasnock is tonight. It begins at 530 here at Lincoln Park Commons, so come out and enjoy. You can do the chicken dance and polka and any other kind of dance. <laughs> Back to you guys. <laughs> that was bad. Something, yeah. All right, we won't even try.